welcome back to my channel. My name is Layla and this is Miland. Um, I hope you're all well. Thanks for joining. Um, if you are new around here, um, welcome for a start. We talk about beauty, skincare, chats, general life events, lots of hygge goodness. Um, so if you like that kind of shenanigan, then make sure you go and subscribe, make sure you are following me on social media, all of which are linked in the description box down below underneath this video, not like down where my feet are, just like under where the video is. You get the gist, you understand how to do these things. Um, today I thought I would do a favourites video. I don't really care if they are still the done thing, I don't really care if anybody watches it or not, I do, please do watch it because I really like it when you come and join in. Um, but I actually really enjoy watching favourites videos and I really really enjoy filming fa favourites videos and I enjoy looking back at the things that I've been enjoying that I feel like I can get very busy and very like you know, caught up in the moment and the next job that I've got to do without sometimes stopping to think about what I've been enjoying and appreciate it. So if all these videos do is help me to stop for a minute and enjoy something a bit more, then that's fabulous. However, if they can help you enjoy things and discover things and be entertained along the way, then that's even better. So let's just crack on, shall we? Right, are we in? Have we got drinks? Have we got snacks? Are we comfortable? We're good. Let's crack on. Right, the first thing on my list I've forgotten to get out, so just bear with while I get it from the drawers. Okay. Back now and back under the pretense that I am professional and organised. Um, okay, the first thing on my list, I think has been on 98% of my favourites videos. I was gonna say Facebook videos then, but no. Um, you will see it all the time on my Instagram, like funny skincare videos and makeup removal videos. If you haven't seen those, they are funny, go and have a look. Um, and that is my absolute favourite eye makeup remover, which is the Simple Dual Effect Eye Makeup Remover. Um, I've just tried not to be very emotive so that you can maybe see um, the split. So it's like water and an oily kind of substance situation going on. Um, and then you give them a shake, like so, and they all mix it together to form the best eye makeup remover you will ever see in your entire life and because it's simple it's not perfumed it doesn't irritate oh my god it's brilliant it absolutely melts through waterproof mascara eyeliner eyeshadow the most pigmented eyeshadow in the world if you just kind of hold it on for a second and then sweep you don't need to be scrubbing at your eye it just glides off it's brilliant elixir obviously it is a little bit oily because it's got the oil in it as well so i kind of if i'm like switching makeup looks and i'm gonna be or i've like gone wrong in a makeup look and i want to take it off and redo it um i kind of just dab over it again with a little bit of tissue but that's fine that's not going to kill anybody to do that's wonderful and it's totally worth it so i find it really nice and conditioning for the skin around the eye as well because it's kind of a bit oily and a bit lovely which add that with not having to drag over the skin and it's going to keep our delicate eye area looking younger and more healthy for longer Thank you very much. Hashtag non-spawn. Um, yeah, I just love it. I literally can't use any other eye makeup remover. If I'm running out of this one and I can't find it in the shop, <gasps> I just don't wear makeup because I just do not find any other eye makeup remover as good as this one. That I just leaks up. Can I put the same thing in every video? <laughs> like, can I have it in every video? Okay, next on the list, and I'm going to do this in the most random of order. I'm just going to do it on the list that I thought of it and wrote it down. I'm not grouping it into, you know, shower products, eye products, skincare products. Like, I'm just going to go down the list and just go through things. Okay? Okay. Next on the list is this. This is incredible. So this is the Soap and Glory Smart Foam. Like smartphone. Get it? I love Soap and Glory puns. They're amazing. Um, Mouldable Shower Mousse. Oh my god, it is wonderful. I kind of want to show you, but I've nowhere to put it afterwards. So I don't, I don't really. Maybe we'll do it at the end. But oh my god, it is the thickest foam ever. So you give it a shake, squirt, squirt, squirt. And it is literally just the thickest foam ever. But it's like really soft and moisturizing and doesn't just disappear as soon as it goes on your body i love it like i really love the um 
which is like the one, like the shower foam. Imperial leather that do those? I can't remember. Anyway, you know what I mean. The shower foam that everybody uses. Love those. This though is like that on steroids. Honestly, it's incredible. Um, so it says it doesn't say what the scent is but it's quite um subtle fruity like not quite watermelon i don't think it's watermelon um but it's not like some fruity scented um like shower and bath products can be a little bit like sickly for me i, I don't really like those i prefer more of a like um florally almost um but more the grown-up floral do you know what i mean um but, like I don't like rose scented things, um, but this isn't that sickly, chemically fruity smell. It's just quite delicate, it's quite nice, I really like it. So it just says, uh, moldable shower mousse, a lightweight and luxurious foam that can be shaped in the hand uh, with vitamin E and Egyptian senna to leave the skin feeling silky and smooth. It is absolutely gorgeous, it's so nice. And my skin has felt moisturized afterwards, it's felt, um, it hasn't felt dry or tight. I've just felt really fresh um, and just ready to get on with the day. It's really nice. And it doesn't leave any residue either. So um, kind of if you're washing your hair after using it, um, you're fine. It's not going to leave any oily residue, which is perfect. Okay, next is the Revolution Pink Clay Mask. This is, I believe, a dupe for the Australian pink clay mask, which is about 35 pounds. This was eight pounds. So you can see what drew me to it, can't you? Um, obviously Revolution, the packaging is very chic, and very lovely. Um, oh my God, I can't tell you how often I've used this. Oh God, the smell. It smells so nice. It just smells clean and fresh and just so nice. Um, I can't tell you how much I've used this. It's ridiculous and I'm still over half full. It's absolutely incredible. A little goes such a long way. It's so good. Um, and oh my God, it has helped with the breakouts. It's helped with um, just keeping my skin feeling nice and supple. It's just so good. So yeah, I'll use this at least a couple of times a week. It's so, so nice. And I use it as well sometimes with a sheet mask love a good double mask situation okay so what does it say detoxifying mask that's all i've got so far what does it say on the box yeah that's all it says on the box as well detoxifying um mask where was the instructions then apply one to two times a week avoid eye area allow to work for 10 to 15 minutes and rinse well so it's a clay mask so you paint it on and then you just sit and watch your tv or read your magazine or do whatever it is you're doing um hopefully relaxing and getting some you time in thank you very much um i really really love to put these on just before i get in the shower as well so the pores are all open and it's all just gonna sink in and do its do its magically pink goodness next is the superdrug vitamin e eye cream i love the vitamin e range from superdrug and actually i've just remembered i was gonna go in a couple of weeks ago because i've real remembered that as I was in last time, there were some huge bottles of the vitamin E cleanser that had just gone on sale. Um, so I'm going to have to go and get one of those and stock up because I think that would be brilliant over winter. Anyway, um, so this is the vitamin E nourishing eye cream from Superdrug, which I love. I have been using serums on my eye over the summer, but I feel like as we're going into winter, my skin especially gets super dry, super dehydrated, and obviously all that texture and all those fine lines just show up even more and i feel like this is just a bit thicker it's a bit more nourishing um and that's just what my skin needs at this time of year as well going into autumn and winter i nearly said going forward then like the old corporate layla nearly came out and i nearly said going forward Ugh. no thank you no thank you this is another one that i'm actually quite surprised by like i didn't I didn't think a serum was going to be this like exciting for me to use. Um, so this is the Bacuchiol serum from Revolution Skincare. Um, and it's kind of the new buzzword ingredient is Bacuchiol. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm doing my best. Please do correct if wrong. Kindly. Um, so this, I believe, is like the plant-based version of salicylic acid, which is very good at... Um, 
dealing with uneven texture and smoothing and keeping away any kind of um, breakouts. Um, one, I love this because the packaging is purple. Two, I love it because the actual serum is purple. And three, I love it because I definitely have seen a difference around this area. Um, I was starting to get some a lot of like fine liney sort of texture, like almost bordering on crepey, um, and also on my forehead. Again, my skin does not like summer. It does get dry over autumn and winter, but it copes with it better. So somehow, I don't know if I treat it better or I kind of know what I'm doing a bit more, so I give it what it needs a bit more, but it, it just copes better over winter than it does summer um so i'd kind of started getting that texture that almost crepe paper texture just creeping in um and since i've been using this i have noticed a massive difference um i've noticed that my foundation is going on a lot more evenly um so that's really really good it's super comfortable to wear um it's not um it's sorry it's, it's more gentle than the actual salicylic acid um so if you like me and you do have sensitive skin or it is a bit reactive sometimes um i can definitely recommend this one another thing i've been really really loving and i don't have it with me well i do but I, it's not like a physical thing i can show you is the evernote app um i kind of tweeted about this as well to say that i was feeling really overwhelmed at the beginning of the month we'd gone away on holiday and it was one of those i think where because I was sat relaxing and we'd come away from everything and we were just sat in this beautiful house on the east coast of England on the sea and it was just calm and peaceful and I had no stresses, no distractions, nothing dramatic near me and it was just a real eye-opener actually into how overwhelmed I was feeling and how stressed I was and in those moments I kind of think okay what can I cut back on what can I do and to be honest there's nothing I can cut back on but what I can do is be more organized in it and feel more in control of the whole thing so Evernote has really really helped um to keep on top of that and stay in control and to just organize myself a little bit so it's an app you can get on iCloud on iCloud so it's an app you can get on iPhone or Android um, I have a Samsung and I've used it on iPhones before so it's fine you can use it on a computer you can use it on an iPad tablet whatever it is you've got you can use it um, you can also use it across devices as well and it'll sync everything so you can have um, notebooks um, and you can organize those into different put different tags on them you can have different notebooks for different areas of your life so I've got one for home I've got one for uh, my YouTube channel I've got one for my blog I've got one for other things that I'm doing um, I've got one for my fitness stuff and it really helps me to prioritize that's the thing you can do to-do lists so you can put little tick boxes in everything which is brilliant so for me it's just a really really good way of I've got one for Layla Land I've got one for home there are other ones in there as well and it's a really good way for me to um kind of get everything out of my head whereas I think oh my god I've got a million things to do so for me I then just go and blurt it all out on Evernote and I organize it from then so i'll organize it into okay so that's what i need to do for the house that's what i need to do for Layla land that's what i need to do for other things and then i can look at that and then i can drill down into it as well and say okay do i need to do that or can i delegate that so then i will just delegate jobs out to the kids or i'll ask paul to help or i'll ask my mum to help or i'll be able to say right do you know what that one i do want to do but it isn't a priority it doesn't need doing yesterday um whereas those things over there are absolute priorities they need doing so i can just organize myself i can ask for help where i need it instead of just running around my days like a headless chicken so i've been really enjoying evernote because it's just helping me feel a lot calmer I know that's not a word you associate with me, but it's helped me feel a lot calmer and a lot happier so I can just continue to be my giddy happy self. You're welcome. <gasps> the next thing is just so pink and beautiful and I just love it. Um, Obviously, I am a drugstore girl. I am on a budget over here, people. So all my makeup that I've used so far has been affordable. But I look at palettes from the likes of Jeffree Star, from Morphe, from Anastasia Beverly Hills, um, and you know, that kind of ilk. And I think, having never used one, 
and not have this is the thing as well because i live so far out of the way i can't go into my local stores and see them so i only ever see these products on the internet i never see them in person because they're just not anywhere around here and i just worry that oh my god i'm gonna spend 40 40 to 50 pounds on a palette one palette and I don't know if it's going to be worth it. I don't know if I'm going to like it. I don't know if it's going to be any different to the £8 palette I've got in my drawer. So I don't know. And it's it's too much sometimes to kind of go for it. I don't know. I, I can't justify it a lot of the time. So when Morphe and Jeffree Star teamed up... See, Jeffree Star has been a tricky one for me because some of the palettes, well, most of the palettes that he's produced, I've kind of thought, eh, they look beautiful, but they're not for me. Like, there was the Blue Blood one, which was, I don't wear a lot of blue eyeshadow, so obviously that was out. There was the Alien one, and again, I don't really wear those tones. What was the other one? Was there, like, a red one? And again, the reds are love. So that, I think, would be the one that I would go for. But there didn't seem enough variety in it for me to warrant it do you know what i mean then jawbreaker came out now jawbreaker is definitely on my wish list i will be getting that at some point but again it's 54 pounds and i was just very like oh i can't do it i can't do it um so then when morphe and jeffree star brought out this one and it was 35 pounds but then there was a discount code as well to get it for 31 pounds i thought okay we might be able to kill two birds with one stone here. We might be able to try some Morphe stuff. We might be able to try some Jeffree Star stuff. And we'll see. Obviously, it's a lot cheaper. I mean, £30 still is a bit steep. But compared to what I've been buying up to now, but it ain't £54, is it? So I figured it would be a good idea. And oh my God, I've been obsessed. I mean, look at it. Look at it. It's flipping bright pink. I love bright pink stuff. Love it. Um, but just look at the palette. Just look at her. She's so beautiful. And look at all the different colours. There's so much. This is it for me. If there's if there's a variety and I can look at a palette and think, right, I can get daytime looks. I can get colourful creative looks. I can get going out glam nighttime looks. Um, then I'm really happy with that. If I look at a palette and I think, hmm it's beautiful but i would only wear it or i would only reach for it if i was really going out or yeah but i couldn't take it on holiday because it's just too neutral i want one palette that i can take on holiday or i can take traveling and be able to use it for any occasion i don't want to have to take 58 million palettes with me for everything i just really love it and i remember i took it to paul's I was feeling a bit rubbish and it was like my sleep over night at Paul's house. So I took it and thought, right, I'll have a play. I'll have a cheer myself up. And I remember putting the first like colour into my crease and I just stopped and looked at Paul and was like, oh no. Oh my God, shut up. I was like, oh no. Oh no. It's really good. Oh no, this is going to get expensive. I really like it. Like I can't believe the colour payoff. You can build it up. You can make it the colours as deep as you want. Like this in my crease. I've managed to make it look like I've got like five different colours in my crease and it's the one colour because you can just build it and build it and build it and it doesn't go patchy and it doesn't like not build. It's just amazing. I just really love it. So I'm definitely going to be investing in Jawbreaker because I like that one as well. Doesn't mean I'm going all high end. Don't worry. Oh, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave him to last, actually, because that's a cute little note to end on. I can't wait. Next on my list is my favourite lip combo at the moment, which is the Revolution Chauffeur Lip Liner with the NYX Lip Lingerie Gloss in Euro Trash. Oh my god, I love it so much. Um, they just go together beautifully. Um, the Euro Trash is quite a bit pinker than the chauffeur liner the chauffeur liner is like a brown light brownie nude um whereas the euro trash gloss is more of a pinky brown nude but oh my god when you put them together they create on me anyway the most gorgeous color and the most brilliant finish and color combo ever it's just like a really rich nice brownie pinky nude just perfect i absolutely love it if i could combine it and make these into a lip color just one thing 
and be off because it's perfect and I love it. I really love it. Love it! Okay, another obsession of mine from NYX um, are the lip oils. Um, I've kind of got three in my hand because I can't be bothered finding all the other ones I've got and I've got loads. Um, so I think I bought one of these, which is the um, sheer pink. I think it's called blush pink. Yep, sheer blush. There we go. I got it. I got it mixed up. I like split it into two different ones. Sheer pink, blush pink. It's sheer blush. There we go. It's basically a sheer pink. <laughs> okay. Um. So again, I struggle with dry lips. Now I've had my lips done as well. I need to keep them hydrated, which keeps them looking plumper and makes my filler last longer. Um. So yeah, I love these. So I tried a NYX lip oil and was just like, oh, I swear I could hear angels singing. Like they don't stick to your hair. <gasps> so good. They just glide on. They actually moisturise your lips. They don't just sit there and be all sticky and oily and horrible. Um, and they actually sink in and do something and they really plump my lips up. So I love them. And they leave them feeling so cushiony soft. They're just gorgeous. Um, so then I thought I'd try some of the other ones. So I've got here the pink one, which is sheer berry. So that's a bit of a darker pink. Um, and then I've got this one, which is Get Spun, which is um, kind of a, it's not quite iridescent. It's a bit of a, like a lilac-y kind of colour, but again, very sheer. Um, I've got one in the car that I can't remember what the colour is, but the packaging is like a silver, like a unicorn-y, um, iridescent kind of one. And that is very cool toned, um, more of like an icy blue, but again, still very sheer. Um, and I've got another one of these and another one of these, like in coat pockets and in bags and things. I don't have a problem. It's just that I like to have one with me at all times. So rather than stress about where it is, I just secrete them everywhere. I don't have a problem. But yeah, I don't, what was that noise then? <laughs> I just turned around and went, oh. <laughs> But yeah, loving them throughout August, throughout July, throughout June, throughout the entire days since I first discovered them. I just love them. Okay, the penultimate item, sorry, one of my very favourite words, second to last, um, is the Sanctuary Spa Oil Scrub. Oh my God. I can't, I just can't. It's that scent. Do you know what I mean? Sanctuary spa scent. It's just that scent. It's, oh my God, it smells so expensive. Does that make sense? It smells like a proper spa product. It's gorgeous. But when I'm having the days where I'm like, you know, a bit of a pamp, oh, the pre-bed shower, where I don't need to wash my hair, but I just fancy a bit of a like, pre-sleep pamp, fresh jammers, fresh bedding, Netflix. Best time ever. <sighs> Preferably like window up and listening to the rain as well. Oh, yeah, that's my kind of night in, is that? Um, so yeah, if I'm not washing my hair or if I remember to like properly like do everything with my hair before I use this, then we're golden. It's fine. Um, but yeah, I just, I just absolutely, look, I've absolutely caned it since I've, since I've bought it. I flipping love it. Okay. On to the last item on my list, and it is not a physical item in front of me right now that I can hold up and say da da in my best QVC way um but it's basically the twitter community oh my god what an encouraging uplifting positive creative inspiring place to be oh i really love it like i think i'd got out of twitter a little bit and i was i was finding myself like focusing on instagram and trying to like get my head around instagram and learn instagram and deal with the algorithm and do this and try and do this and don't do this and make sure you do this and I was getting a bit like okay and then I thought right I, d I don't even like Instagram particularly I don't find it my favorite platform to use for many reasons I just don't I don't seem to be able to find the people that I want to find and like I don't seem to be able to have conversations and properly interact with people um which just wasn't what I wanted. And then I kind of ended up back at Twitter and just within like half an hour, I'd connected with some awesome people. I'd found out that Katie, who is the makeup artist for Revolution, had followed me for ages. And I was like, oh my God, as if you follow me. And then we got chatting and she's now like one of my favorite people on there. I just love it. It's, I've just met so many, I say met, 
so many lovely people who are so encouraging like i'm obviously not a trained makeup artist um i'm kind of self-taught i'm still self-teaching myself every day and practicing and learning and just trying to trying to learn how to be creative as well and not once has anybody made me feel like they're looking down on me or like i'm not good enough if anything it's the opposite if anything it's me saying like oh god well i'm not a professional and and the other people saying shut your face you're totally a makeup artist like that's amazing all that look you did last week was amazing so many people have helped to give me so much more confidence and just been so positive and it's so nice and i just think on just in the world in general at the minute is, and on social media it can be so negative and so scary for a lot of people that i just wanted to give a mention and a shout out to the people on twitter for being the exact opposite and being exactly what the world needs at the moment um so yeah it's just a wonderful place to be and i really really love everybody on there they're just wonderful so that was it for my august 2019 favorites I don't know what's going on with my arms but there we go that's what's happening um i hope you've enjoyed it i hope you found some little gems that you think you might go and try do let me know down in the comments um make sure you give this video a big thumbs up please the support is very very well received and appreciated i appreciate it so much please make sure you go and subscribe the family is growing oh, i love it so much um we are creating the most brilliant bunch on the internet so thank you so very much if you are a part of that do go and subscribe if you haven't already go and leave me a comment and say hello go and give me a big thumbs up and i will see you in my next video i love you very much take care thank you for watching bye